Hello and welcome to the Starving Electrician Channel again. Yes, indeed. Um, lately, I've been doing these uh, videos just showing different clips of just uh, stupid stuff people do. Uh, there's a reason behind it, so uh, I won't get into that too much. But uh, stay tuned for next week. We're going to go over a uh, pie chart, uh, how to determine uh, how many lights or plugs, what have you can go on a circuit, uh, voltage, average, stuff like that. So we're going to get into the uh, meat of some stuff. So right now, we will go over some knucklehead stuff. So right here, uh, I don't know, tell me why it got cut off and I... I mean, just stuffing the wire in with the, the cord end, I, I just don't get it. Um, not like I'm Mr. Safety. I mean, I've done some shady shit before. Not to catch anybody's house on fire. But, uh, you know, anything to get some power uh, when I need it. But this is like, man, I mean, I'm lazy. I'm the laziest cat you're ever going to find. But uh, this is beyond lazy here. I mean, take the plug out or something. Uh, but, but using the plug... There's a little uh, genius involved in this, too. So they needed something to stuff the wires in. They found it. All right. Let's move on to the next one. Man, I tell you, some cats are like evil geniuses. You know, I'm lazy. Again, here we go. I'm lazy, man. Fat, too. What are you going to do? You know, I like beer and I like tacos. And I bet this guy does, too. Um, but, uh, rather than stuff the plug in those, uh, little portals there, I mean, uh, he put a couple of screws in a little bit of danger, but my man's like James Bond, you know, I could hear the music, you know, <laughs> oh yeah, this guy, he's slick as grease, but, uh, you know, I'm, I, of course he's a knucklehead. But this is the guy you want to hang out with. That's an evil genius right there. You don't even know what he's planning, but he thinks his way around stuff. So, knucklehead or not, I like this guy. All right. I can't even get mad at this guy. I mean, this guy is, well, he's not diabolical like the last guy. But, uh, I mean, to tap into those wires, uh, he, he, Man, my man needed a plug, and it is what it is. But I'm going to tell you what this guy is. He was an electrician. I mean, to know, you know, you can see that it's phased. Um, you know, I, I I assume one of those is a neutral. I don't see any white on it or what have you. But, I mean, to tap into it, and look at He used the little insulated uh, connectors there for his wire. So, I mean, he was being safe. Should have wrapped tape around those little self tappers when he got in there. But I worked with a cat who did that before too, or uh, went right into a, uh, right into a lug. He drilled, it was all taped off and everything like that in the bottom of the switch gear. And he drilled right into the center of it and uh, put another lug on there. And then, uh, Hey, he had another tap. Um, I'm like, man, you supposed to be doing that. And, uh, uh, apparently he figured it was okay, but, uh, hey, this, the, the only thing wrong with this is there's no breaker on it, right? So, but this was an electrician that did this. I don't think anybody else is that smart to do it. And us electricians happen to be pretty brilliant, you know, so, but, <laughs> okay, whatever. Okay, I'm going to tell you exactly what happened after this was put in. He was done, looks like a 200 amp service, uh, square D. Um, I mean, it looks like nice work and all, but, you know, you do have that one little issue of the shower being there, but I'm going to tell you what happened exactly after this. The guy stuck his money out and his hand out and said, give me my money. And, uh, did he not put in a 200 amp service? Who said don't put it in the shower? It's merely a suggestion. That might be watertight. You never know that. Well, I guess we can tell that it isn't watertight. But, like, there's a vent above it, so it's not going to get, you know, steam. Maybe, you know, like a fart fan above that to suck the steam out of there. So, you know, no condensation, what have you. But uh, maybe everybody's seen this one before. I've seen it multiple times out there. But it's just crazy to me how you decide to put a shower around it. Maybe you didn't want to put it on the outside of the wall. Maybe you didn't want to move the circuits. But uh, it's your ass, not mine. And... Uh, not like it's prison, so I'd care about my ass. This guy obviously doesn't. <laughs> All right, see if you can tell me what's wrong with this panel. I mean, looks like some oxidation buildup on that neutral from the wires got cooked a little bit. I see some of the uh, circuits are going across the bus bar. Yeah, you can't do that. 
Um, you know, it looks like they used every other breaker, maybe the break, maybe half the panels. Out, I don't know. Oh, or it could be that possum that got fried from getting in there trying to get warm. Aw, poor thing. You know, had they put the panel cover on and, uh, you know, maybe did it the right way, uh, then that poor possum would be alive today to go through your garbage and make noise. And uh, Or maybe you could shoot it and eat it. So, you know, this is just going to waste. <laughs> but, yeah, that's a possum panel. I don't know if you've ever seen them before, but uh, here's your first one, possum panel. Now, with this panel, I'm not saying there's anything wrong with it, but uh, you can see the dirt and the oxidation uh, on the lugs, stuff like that. I'm not going to get into no locks or anything else, but if you look where the breaker was, you see the bus bar is melted, yeah, but the plastic clip that the, the breaker clips onto, when that melts, that means that whole breaker got so damn hot that it burnt the plastic off. So it obviously didn't trip. If, if you can burn anything in your panel and the breaker doesn't trip, the breaker's at fault. Now, that's a hard one to uh, to find out until you start smelling it, uh, smell that uh, plastic burning. But, uh, yeah, this is the, the danger zone there. But uh, I couldn't even tell you what caused it, you know. It's just uh, seemed like it's in a damp location, if you ask me. And so it's not, not the right type of panel. You know, I can see a little code violation here or there. But, uh, yeah, this is a... Scary stuff, but uh, that's why they made electricians, right? I know it's uh, so sad to see you go. This is the uh, last part of the knucklehead uh, exposure type videos. Thanks, everybody, for watching. I appreciate it. Like I say, stay tuned for some uh, some more live videos, stuff like that. Not live videos, but videos that I'm going to produce. Uh, my blackboard, I'm going to do some calculations for you. We're going to get back into some uh, tips and tricks and whatnot, uh, pipe bending and everything else. So uh, stay tuned for that. And then some of these because they're fun. But uh, this is a tell me why um, incident. you got a tamper resistant outlet. Uh, to the left, and that's code now. Everything has to be tamper resistant. And then uh, that that other one on the right, it's just, uh, I don't know, something about that one. They did twist the wires uh, around the terminals, um, but uh, for some reason it popped off. Okay, great. But why? Why not plug it in the other outlet at least? You know, did you need the cord that bad? Uh, I mean, are we that lazy? Again, talking about laziness. You got me, man. I'm Lenny. Again, I'm not ashamed to say that I'm lazy because I get it done fast. I want to get out of there. So the laziest guy finds the fastest way, and then they get it done. That's the guy you want out there. Some old schlub with gray hair and fat comes walking up and wants a job. You got some young buck there. It's like, no, pick that old uh, fat schlub because uh, – He's going to get it done and get it over with. It doesn't take him eight hours to do eight hours worth of work. So, uh, yeah. So I'm leaving you with this. The Tell me why. Tell me why. But anyhow, uh, stay tuned for some more of my long form. Check out all my uh, short form content, too. I got a lot of uh, shorts uh, that I'm doing and not creating. So take a look. And thank you all for watching. I really appreciate it. Peace.